coral snakes are right at home in the suburbs. But don't worry, coral snakes feed on frogs, lizards, and here's the kicker, other snakes, including other coral snakes. But out here in Deland, Florida, venom experts are collecting these colorful cannibals for the greater good. Whoa, whoa, here we go, guys, here we go. All right, look at this little guy. Looks like probably a female. Incidentally, nobody would ever grab a coral snake safely by the tail. This is the old don't try this at home thing. We repeat, do not try this at home. So we're going to bag this little snake up and uh, bring her back and add her to the venom line. To see this little lady in person, head to the Reptile Discovery Center for the Venom Extraction Live, Thursdays through Saturdays, two shows daily, 11.30 a.m. and 3 p.m. Just watching them take the venom and to be that close, just really neat. The whole thing, everything it was awesome. And while these toxic reptiles usually reach about two feet in length, they start out about five inches long and about as wide as your average spaghetti noodle. And they're fully venomized right out of the egg. It's that venom that's getting them lots of attention lately. Their venoms offer a whole host of applications in medical research. Of course, it's how we make antivenom. So the very anecdote to treat snake bite comes from the snake himself. But unlike the other five poisonous snakes in Florida, coral snakes don't have retractable fangs. They deliver their venom by chewing on you. Not good. So keep your eyes peeled for this triple color threat. And remember the rhyme, red to yellow, kill a fellow, red to black, venom lack. Words to live by.